Good morning. So here's a quick preview of a vision cage converted for tortoises. You can see the thermostat on the top is showing 79.3. It's the nighttime ambient low. Now that the light's turned on, that will heat up much higher. You can see there's a lot of condensation on the glass, but that just demonstrates the differential between inside temperature and outside temperature. There's a bulkhead fitting down there so that we can flood and drain. And then we'll open this up. We use these hook deals here for a handle. And that way you don't overshoot. There's a small water dish constantly evaporating. A sweeter heater for nighttime uh, minimum temperature. It turns off based on the thermostat as soon as the light generates enough heat to drive the temperature higher is a moist orchid bark substrate there's a pothos in there which is constantly evapotranspirating more moisture into the air there's a tile that the food is put on and we have orchid bark substrate this is a 28 inch by 38 inch by 18 inch vision cage the lamp is a double fixture we only use one side at a time because otherwise it generates too much heat. It's hung on a PVC pipe that's held with closet rod holders at each end. There's another fixture there or an outlet in the fixture if you want to use it, but it's on a timer because the light's on a timer. And you can see a lot of super smooth baby leopard tortoises. And this is how the leopard tortoise you buy from Capitola Farms is raised. High humidity, minimum ambient temperature of approximately 80 degrees Fahrenheit. A live plant. One single tube. And I can't show you, but that's... Let's see if we can... I can't... Oh, both tubes are on. Um... I think that's just the sunlight tube, no UV. The UV is for D3, and the D3 is in the food. And let's get real close to that guy. The shell is just wonderful. So a water tray like this has to be filled every day because uh, they all want to poop in it. They're soaked routinely. There's a little ball of water on top of the sweeter heater to add more humidity. And this is pretty darn ideal setup for baby leopards.